I open here my heart, which you may trample. <laughs> or, but allow a taste of heaven's sample. <laughs> I know one scarce expects this from the pious, but let that preference not incur your bias amid the glow of charms which shine celestial. I lose my modest hesitation, lest you'll discount my love as Christian charity. My pious stance is mere posterity. The world may paint me as a soul angelic, while I know that perception as mere relic. What you've perceived in hot, prolonged gaze, I manifest in humble, loving praise. If this seems contradictory position, Fix blame upon the object of my mission, for no amount of earnest flagellation could keep my keen desire from graduation. Your love did spark my holy veneration, while weaker thoughts you drove to penetrate. If you might stoop to give your benediction, Relieving me of manly predilection, all day and night I'd gladly sing your praise and thanks to God for my remaining days. A side note with which you might be impressed, in life's white lives you'll barely need invest. Some other men these days are braggarts, brash, who quickly turn their triumph into trash. No sooner is a woman fondly known than it's detailed, exaggerated, grown. Men of my sort, however, breathe discretion and leave behind no whiff of an impression. <laughs> As my repute, I value more than gold. No tempting echo prompts me to make bold, enabling me to offer you my sweet, a saintly safety, rapture quite complete. I know that good which on your soul is written would not condemn one so acutely smitten. You know the reach of human limitation and might forgive a moment's violation. But more than any other, know you this, no human is immune to dreams.